What's up, guys? This is Big Dog Dimsy. Back with episode two of If My Heart Had Wings. We just saved the girl on top of a hill who sprung a flat tire in a wheelchair. And we didn't get her name! <laughs> okay, I'd better go. Now, I'm going to the dormitory called Flying Fish Manor. I wonder why it's called that. Due to certain circumstances, that place will be my new home. While walking along, along the gently sloping street, I look up at the clouds moving above. Floating so freely like that, they remind me of the glider. That distinctive silhouette had left a mysterious impression on me. Puff, puff! <laughs> I finally found it. <laughs> this place is this it? <laughs> Flying fish, mother! <laughs> There's such a big difference between its appearance and its name. <laughs> that is so not a matter. <laughs> that is like a cottage. <laughs> Oh lord, or more like a normal house. That's like giving a tough looking Japanese to Tassa a name like Lily. <laughs> At least call it Mason Do Flying Fish or something. Whew. Uh, whew. That's why, even though I looked everywhere, I still. Couldn't find it. Huh? What the hell? Oops, sorry. Okay, there we go. That's why even though I looked everywhere, I still couldn't find it. Because I thought, it's not this place. I completely ruled it out and then walked around and around the area. Lol. Even now, I still can't believe it. So I'll check the sign one more time. Flying Fish Manor. There's no doubt about it. Even so, I'm still not entirely convinced. I mean, I know a lot about this place. Oh! It's an old European style building on the shore of the lake. And because its appearance is a little spooky, when we were kids, we called this building the Witch's Mansion. As a test of courage, we would often sneak into the yard. Well, that's it? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I brought out my serious voice, too. Fuck. Uh, we just thought it was a rich person's residence, but it's a dormitory. Kai-Fu Private a Academy Student Dormitory? That's a fucking mouthful. I can't just stand here in shock. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I took a deep breath and stood up straight. Attention! May I come in? Oro? Ah! Why are you? Why are you wearing? <laughs> Suddenly, a girl in her underwear appeared before me, and the expression that I had tried so hard to straighten out crumbled instantly. What are you doing? I am. Ah! Why? She's the one who should be worried about having a seat! Why am I not feeling as impressions? Oh, 
from inside the other girl. From inside the other girl. This one was wearing clothes, showed her face, but when she saw me, she let out an hysteric, hysteric scream. At the same time, the glasses she was wearing looked like they were about to slip off. You <laughs> mean who? You're naked, babe. Salvation from God. My phone rang. The word mom was shown on the display. Excuse me a minute. I quickly pressed the button to answer the call while swiftly escaping outside. Mom! <laughs> well, the place is full of girls! And I saw one in her underwear! Yeah. I had checked the sign over and over, but then I noticed something small writing in the corner. Girls Dormitory! No! I mean, yes! This is a girls dormitory! Oh, this mother is a fucking bitch! <laughs> Did you do this on purpose? What is this? What kind of mother are you? From now on, I'm going to be this place's dorm mother, aren't I? Just now, they were screaming at the top of their lungs! That damn mother of mine! She's enjoying this situation! Creak! The front door opened slightly and the girls from just now were peeking through. Uh, um... When I called out to them, like a surprise turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. What should I do about this? Am I still outside? <laughs> no? Well, this is the situation. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. While I was explaining the situation, the boarding students apart from the girl in her underwear, who was putting on some real clothes, surrounded me, but kept their distance, and... Uh, this is no good, is it? A boy being the door mother of a girl's dorm door. <laughs> From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were pretty gaudy were some girls who looked like they were hiding, but they were nodding and agreeing. If nobody comes here, that will be a bigger problem. She's fearful? She's cute though! Incidentally, there is now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age, or maybe a year younger than me. Stop kidding me! What? What is it? Aoi kun, teitake? Tashi wa ikutsu? Oh god. Um, I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to Kaifu Academy. I have a second year. Hey, Hey! She's older than me, boys! Hee <laughs> hee, she said. What do you mean, hee <laughs> hee? 
The person who came to speak to all of you is my mother. And, well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting this job as door mother. My mom has a job connected to real estate. And her company manages this property. Yes, the person who seemed the oldest said so, and the other people reluctantly nodded in agreement. This is just until the owner, caretaker, comes back or we find another someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. Once the conversation was over, naturally everyone left and went back to their room. Yeah, Um, Thank you very much! Was that all of the boarding zoos? There, there's the underwear girl, Kanako, Kanako, who is with me now. Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and Sana, the girl with the glasses, the timid one who came from the back is Ryuko? Um. <clears throat> right, Ryuko. Okay. That's four people all together. Oh, the reclusive type. I wonder if she'll come out of her room at some point. Oh? In other words, there are five borders in total. This building is pretty big, but there are only five people living here. Come to think of it, my mom did say that there are quite a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from the school, so maybe it's not that popular. <sighs> hey! Anyway, the conversation ended well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. <laughs> you bitch! I mean, I love you! So, in the end, we somehow worked things out. Fuck you, Mom! What? What are you talking about, Mom? I would never do such a thing! Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, God! Now she's saying go for it! What type of mother is this? I don't know, but I'm a guy who's got a Ah. Wait, walking disability flap <laughs> Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings came from down the hallway. Then a shrill voice shouted. Hato! Hato! Qua! Uh. Oh, 21 sausages is all night. <laughs> Something big and white came flying down the hallway, and behind it, at breakneck speed. <laughs> Hey, it's wheelchair girl. What's the girl in the wheelchair? Still don't have her name. <laughs> what? The duck stole her panties. That is my type of duck. <laughs> the big white thing. <laughs> Which somehow seemed like they ducked, was flapping its wings and flew behind me. The girl in the wheelchair avoided all the obstacles in her path, in other words, me, and chased down the duck like a drift racer. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed by the speed that I couldn't say anything. <laughs> hey! <laughs> she caught him. <laughs> Ah, man, you cut me, eh? Man. <laughs> the girl in the wheelchair caught the duck at her feet and snatched away a small white cloth 
Probably bad. Possibly panties. <laughs> the girl put the duck on her knee and re lectured him. <laughs> I remembered seeing that before. However, it's somehow a lot different compared to the image she had during the day. Yeah, <laughs> she's kind of different now. What the hell? So, like, we got, like, who would look like, like, a Miko-type character. Like, really reserved and awesome. And now we've got this! <laughs> it's awesome! I love it! <laughs> In the daytime, she seemed more daintly and de delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not often that you see such a pretty girl. I agree. Looks like your tire is good in good condition. Huh? Huh? <laughs> she finally realized that there was a guy standing there. Huh? 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 Take good care of her. No problem, Ma! I was training to be a nurse after all. Sure, I got it. Okay, talk to you later. I replied as I ended the call. She got as far as saying that, but then feels that she has the small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it by stuffing it under her backside. Hey! Really, Kanako? God damn it, Kanako. Kanako, who was surprised to be... Um... Talking, or supposed to be taking a bath, poked her head out. Hi? Nani o sore? Kite nai desu kedo? Iyo ni mukotori chan, metta ni heya kara dete konai na mo. Hatarashi ryobo te, watoku no ko janai! Kotori! That's the name, yes! We found it out, boys! The mystery is solved! The wife who has been chosen! <laughs> hey, look! Hey, look! Is what it felt like she was saying as she re <laughs> relentlessly poked at me. I'm the new dorm mother, Oi Minazi. Habane Kotori desu. Kotori desu! <laughs> desu! <laughs> okay, whatever. It's Kotori Habane, I think. Kotori seemed to meet my introduction with reluctance. Gaga! Gaga! <laughs> Pat turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. Yes, that's right. So, you are against it. If she says she doesn't like the fact that the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory is a guy, or the fact that she's that we're the same age. There's nothing I can do about it. Tori closes her eyes and quietly takes a deep breath, as if trying to focus her mind. So Tori? What? Forget about that awesome time when we saw the glider? Yeah, fuck you! Fuck you, no way! During the day, which part? She stopped talking and stared at Kanako, 
who was standing behind listening. Kanko looked as if she was saying, Okay, okay, as she disappeared down the hallway. I? Oh, that she started crying? That incident was quite startling, and I remember it well. To see a girl's tears from so close like that is something I don't experience very often. I don't want to experience it. I don't know what she thinks about it, but those tears were very beautiful. Uh, they were. No! Uh, no, not yet. Don't be silly! When she says it like that, it just becomes more strongly engraved in my memory. <laughs> her straight in her back composed her expression and smiled and Swiss with a natural gesture she lifted her hair up <laughs> don't you feel that cool allure boys <laughs> Uh, what a lure. Oh! Oh, beauty! That's what the word means. Okay. I just said it a bit wrong. That's all. Oh, I've heard that word before. Let me do it again! <laughs> she said that it meant straight in her back and then a couple of smiles like it. Okay, that's enough. I get it, alright. <laughs> hey, come on now! Doryu is just every insult there is. Then turned her wheelchair around. Well, then she hurriedly raced back down the hallway and back into her room. <laughs> Along the way, Hat, who had been uh, thrown off, chased after her and entered the room for a small door. <laughs> Maybe a special door for ducks built into the bottom of the main door. I looked on in disbelief. <laughs> I don't need to say this, but the daintily and delicate image that she had in the daytime had uh, completely crumbled away. A delicate bud was beginning to sprout and we shared a fleeting love, but cool allure, right? <laughs> when I remember her lifting her hair. And being so full of confidence, I feel like I could burst out laughing. <laughs> She's so funny. From the beginning, everything has been so messed up. From the Mar onwards, it looks like things will start getting interesting. I really felt that predicament would come true. Prediction. God damn it. Extend the little wings that fly in the sky so high day. Haven't I read that already? Is it morning yet? That, 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 that. What the hell's going on? My first job as dorm mother. That is, to make breakfast for the boarders. Ah! I can cook? Yeah! <laughs> Pretty sure she only said good there, not that's some good eating. But okay. <laughs> sure, a big bowl, right? 
わかってるね。Yeah. I'm pretty confident in my cooking. Fuck! King Hell! This guy was born to be a door mother or something? Until recently, I was living with my father, who was transferred to the countryside, and every day I helped with the household. I was in charge of preparing the meals, and it's not like I hated cooking meals. That's one of the reasons why I accepted the job as dorm mother. So, the others don't need breakfast, huh? Until now, no one has come into the dining room. Sometimes there would be someone walking through the hallway in front, but they seem to be sneaking around.、Mm -hmm. Hanako looked towards the hallway just as the oldest boarder, Yuka, was peeking in before swiftly dashing in. No!、Oh. みんなオブだからね男の子に免疫がないのよ<笑> is a co -ed school,、right? いくら学校で同じでも寝起きの緩み切ったすっぴんが見られちゃうわけじゃないからね I see It seems that a guy being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory will have its problems after all There is a reason why I accepted the job as door mother as flying fisherman. Not long ago, the owner janitor collapsed. Oh, it sounds like she was pretty old, and in addition to straining her back, she caught a summer cold, which worsened. The owner soon began looking for a replacement, but it was hard to find one. Then, she sought help from the real estate company. Where my mother works. This is one of the properties that my mother manages and is an old acquaintance of the owner from decades ago. She nominated me for this job just as I was planning to come back here. On the documents, my mom is the one responsible for this place, but she got me to carry out the practical duties. In other words, the work of the Lord m o t h e Then that became the condition for me coming back to this town. As always, she's very crafty, but I wasn't really against the idea, so I accepted it. If I had known it was a girl's dormitory, of course, I would have refused. <laughs> this place is old and a little far from the school, but the rent is cheap. Apart from the food and Admin expenses, it costs next to nothing. That's why it would be a big problem for me if I couldn't stay here. And in the worst case scenario, the boarders won't be able to go to school. Gosso, sir! Ah, I'm so good. Franco stacked up the dishes on the counter and licked her lips in satisfaction. Nah, me and the Sonoji are ready to. じゃあ行ってきまーす。出かけまーす。She had eaten it all. Not even a single grain of rice was left. Oh god! To have prayful, enjoy my cooking feels pretty good. I feel deeply relieved. I'm happy that things are going well. Ah, jeez. I better get ready for school. Katai! In the entrance of the dormitory, there was Katori. She was dressed in her uniform and looked like she was about to go to school. Morning, Katori. Oh, oh, hi, yo. Hi, yo. Are you going to school? Shall we go together? Why? Well. She put it bluntly as she went out the front door. I don't have any friends at school, so I was just asking. It looked like we had a strange misunderstanding. <sighs> God damn it. Wearing a new uniform, I made my way to school. I'm a dorm mother, but also a student of Kaifu Academy. 
I mean, this is my real occupation. Today is the first day of my new school. I'm not really the shy type, but I guess I'm a kind of nervous. I would say that the school I was going to before was a sports-focused all-boys school. Fuck! I'm glad you got away from that. Up. Well, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed episode two. Peace out.